Hey, happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great hump day. <laughs> On today's vlog, I'm going to shift gears and do something different that some people have asked me about, and I will talk about that today. But just real quick, before I jump into that, I wanted to give another plug to my October giveaway. I hope that comes up okay there. And that is a free photo session for anyone that enters. There's no strings attached. There's no nothing. It's just me being me and trying to give back my time and talents to the community. I do this uh, twice a year, usually. And I've been doing it for years, usually in the spring and then usually in the fall. And like I said, it's just me being me. There's no spam involved, no gathering of your information to bug the mess out of you. I, I don't play that. I don't do that. It's just... You know, for any family that wants a, uh, some photos, if, you've, if it's been a while since you've had a family session, if it's been a while that you, you know, you can use the session for a senior, you can use it for your, your little ones, whatever you want to use it for, it's just drop your name in the hat and I will draw a name out of that hat on October 1st. So I didn't, again, I didn't mean to kind of go into a whole lot of this, but if you go on my website and... Uh, if you're on a PC or, or a Mac, you'll see an October giveaway right in the menu, the first link. If you're on a mobile device and you click the menu, the October giveaway is the first link. So click that. That will take you to this page. You'll see information about the session. And I've actually got a video. This is actually a vlog from the other day where I go in depth about the session, what's involved, things like that. So anyway... Just wanted to do a real quick plug for that and let you guys know about that. So, on today's vlog, again, shifting gears, I'm going to show you guys, because a lot of you have asked me, you've sent me text messages, I've got a couple of emails. James, how are you live streaming? How are you set up? So I'm actually going to show you, hopefully, without disconnecting anything and powering off anything and, and the stream messing up right now, <laughs> I'm going to show you how I'm set up. So... The first thing that I'm using is I will show you the camera that I'm going into right now. This is what I'm piped into. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm filming with. It's one of my uh, bigger production cam or bigger production cameras. So I'm going directly into him while HDMI out into the computer. So I'm going HDMI out from the camera into here. Um, the next thing I do, and here comes the crazy part is I'm going to pick all this up and hopefully nothing disconnects here. And this is the soundboard that I'm using. And like I said, hopefully this is all going to be okay here and things, I'm, I'm still seeing light, so we're good. <laughs> so I've got a Sennheiser microphone going into channel one here, that, that blue thing plugged up in the corner there. And then I've got my uh, this cable here, there's, it's going into the left and right main out of the soundboard through this red cable. And that cable is running back into the line in on the PC, on the, on the tower that I'm using right here. So again, camera's going to the computer. This sound source is going to the computer. And you might think, well, James, why are you going, why are you set up in this manner? Why are you using it in this way? Give me two seconds here let me set this thing back down carefully the reason I wanted to do it this way is because you guys know that I'm kind of fanatical about video quality fanatical about lighting I'm just using natural light today this room seems to be pretty good for it but when I did the initial couple of live streams with the XLR directly into the camera let me show you guys here for those of you who may not know when you look here, those two little circular ports, those are XLR ports on this on this camera here. And so what I was doing initially is I just thought, you know, well, to avoid some issues that the software has, and I'll go into that in a second, I'll just run audio straight into the camera, live stream that way, go live, everything's hunky dory, easy, I'm good. And then when I heard them, when I heard the live streams back, heard the live streams played back, as I watched them later that evening, I was just like I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> Again, that's just me being Mr. Particular like I am. So I've had the soundboard for a while. I got the cable off Amazon and then I said, well, I'm going that, that route. So that's what I'm doing now. And the reason I'm going this route 
is I can control the highs and the lows of the sound of the stream and just makes it more makes it sound more uh, professional. So people have told me, hey, I've, I've listened to you or sometimes I'll catch you coming on live when I'm in my car driving and of course the phone's plugged in uh, via Bluetooth and they say, man, it sounds great. And that's my goal. You know, if, if you can hear that the, the nice bass tone uh, of my voice, if you can hear the treble, you know, everything's kind of equalized in terms of the sound and the mix, that's what I'm after. So that's, again, that's just, I'm kind of particular about that. So camera going into the PC, uh, soundboard going into the computer, and then there's two different ways that you can do this. I use a hardware switcher. It's made from a company called Blackmagic. Uh, it's an ATM switcher, and I, gosh, I should have grabbed that guy before the live stream started. But uh, anyway, uh, it's got a streaming encoding. Um, the, the encoder is actually built into the hardware device. There's four HDMI inputs on the back. And so I, I've used that guy for weddings. I've used it for uh, events, things like that. But for live streaming here at my home, it's just more simplistic to go this route. So I've got the camera sound into the, into the computer and then the software that I use is you guys may have heard of it but it's actually called OBS it's it's free easy to use and uh, you know you just you get this guy set up you get it installed and then there's some configuration steps that you have to go into OBS and do with the way that I'm set up and I won't go into that now but uh, it's very easy to use and uh, I have a lot of fun with it you, know, you, you guys have seen some of the posts that I've done in the past so uh, this is what you'll see a lot of uh, from, you know, from this point on when I go live. If I'm actually vlogging and the vlog post I've done in the past, I'm actually using this guy. He is the Canon, let me see, hopefully you can see that. The lighting there, the EOS M50. Very inexpensive little Canon camera. It's got a flip screen on the back where I can get him set up and then take off and then do what I need to do in terms of vlogging. And I've usually got this guy on my Gorilla tripod where I can move the legs around any which way and get him set up. Uh, this guy comes with, this is the lens that comes with it. It is the uh, 15 to 45, a little, a little kit lens. It's great for a wide angle, uh, but I, I usually have my little nifty 50 and older lens that I've got on here for the depth of field that I like when I'm vlogging. And uh, with the M50, it is necessary to buy the mount adapter for your, your Canon glass or whatever glass that you have, uh, in my case, Canon. So that way I can just slap the 50 on, I can slap a 7200 on, I can slap anything on here on this little guy and, and go to town. But obviously I'm, I'm, you're not, I'm not gonna put some big telephoto lens on here. Uh, but this guy is super easy, I love this thing and i uh looking to see the Mark II is getting ready to come out here. But again, this guy is strictly for vlogging, very easy, you can see how uh, small it is in my hands, but it takes great video, great quality in terms of pictures, if you want to take pictures. Um, absolutely love this guy, highly recommend it if you're looking into, to a vlogging camera. EOS M50. Um, all right, making sure everything's intact and nothing's disconnected. <laughs> all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's just, you know, like I said, something different. Uh, it's a question that I get asked often. And I just wanted to show you actually live how I'm live streaming. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, it's been working great and I, I'm loving it. So uh, the final thing that I'm doing right now is I, I'm getting all the footage um, synced up from a, a wedding that I did recently. This will give you an idea of how much is involved. I do photography as well. So I can like, I can, I can compare the two and you guys can see the difference. And this is, just, this is just for audio. So this is one of the digital recorders I use. Again, XLR and quarter inch inputs on here. Allows me to record audio of, uh, this guy's usually used for the ceremony and for the reception. I can tie into the DJ's soundboard or their speakers, their XLR, XLR out speakers and come into here. So I've got sound from here. I've got sound from these two guys here. These are my Tascam digital lav mic recorders. And then I've got sound, actually two of these, and I've got sound coming from this guy here, a zoom recorder. Um, so I'm going through all that right now. And again, that's, even though I showed three, there's four, four devices, four 
devices with sound files on them. I've got to take all that, throw it in the timeline, and that's not even accounting for the footage yet. So I've got footage on multiple cameras I've got to sync. I've got to take all this, drop it on the timeline, and get, get everything synced up and take off and go to town. But like I said, you guys have seen some of my wedding films. I think they come out beautiful. I think the fact that I weave audio throughout the, the film just makes them more personable. So uh, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Like I said, it's a little bit different than what I usually do. And something else that you probably noticed is I'm going to try to vlog a little bit more each day. And I won't try to make it so long. I know today was, was a little bit longer than usual just because I wanted to show you the live stream. But um, I'll try to keep it short and sweet and show you as much content as I, as I can. And like I said, you'll start to see this hopefully a little bit each day. And this is one of my goals is to try to vlog each more or vlog each day a little bit more. Just connect with you guys, share topics, share what's on my mind, share things I'm wrestling with, struggling with. Um, one of the things that, that's really got me down right now is just this COVID mess and feeling like I'm locked in uh, the house all the time drives me crazy. I mean, absolutely drives me crazy. I actually, I actually got up, got in the car and went for a drive this morning just to feel a sense of normalcy a little bit. It's, it's really, it's really tough. So anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Like I said, on this hump day and I will catch you on tomorrow's VLOG. And by the way, don't forget about the October giveaway. Got now until the rest of these September to enter. Okay. All right. Catch you guys later. Have a great, get my hand on the stop button here. Have a great rest of the week, guys.